And there's a problem when a man is not showing you where he gets his money. Eventually, you're going to have to ask. There's a lifestyle that comes with it. And that's why her and Simon are always out the country. Chell, y'all might want to get a chair for this one because it has just been confirmed that Portia is getting a divorce from her husband, Simon, and it looks like it's already going to be a very messy divorce. Simon has been throwing some major shade at Portia on social media ever since the divorce was announced. There are also some rumors going around that the reason she filed for divorce anyway was because Simon is forced in deportation after he was exposed for being a scammer and having several convictions for credit card and bank fraud. As if that ain't messy enough, word on the street is Portia is really panicking about this because she's gonna be on the next season of Real Housewives of Atlanta and she's scared they gonna drag her to filth for this. Since this is going to be a very major part of the storyline for next season. And he was saying Portia loves, and this is all she brags about, is the lifestyle. She wants the glitz, she wants the glamour, she wants the diamond, she wants to be able to brag about what she has. She doesn't give a f where it came from. She doesn't give a f where, where, where he's getting it from, as long as he spends it on her. Now, let me tell you something, let me back up a little bit. But before we get into all that, let me give y'all a little bit of context because there is a lot to unpack here. Okay, so Portia and Simon met for the first time back in 2021 while filming for Real Housewives of Atlanta. At the time, Time, Simon was still with his ex-wife Fallon. However, they later split in April of 2021. And within that same month, he and Portia announced that they were dating. A lot of people were not feeling this and they speculated that he and Portia were having an affair even before he left his wife. However, this didn't stop them from taking the relationship farther because just a month later, they got engaged and officially got married in November of 2022. It was a whole old extravagant wedding at the Four Seasons in Atlanta, and it had over 350 guests, including her co-stars Cynthia Bailey, Candy Burris, and Kim Bierman. Things were going smooth for them in their marriage, and they were even discussing the possibility of having kids together. Simon got five kids of his own, and Portia also has a daughter from her previous relationship. However, it looks like Portia's pumping the brakes on the idea of having kids with him and throwing the whole marriage into the gutter, because she she just filed for divorce after just 15 months of marriage. And the reason why this came as such a shock to people is because just a few days before the divorce, she and Simon seemed to be doing just fine. They spent Valentine's Day together and they were even seen going on yachts together having a good time. And just a few days ago, when she announced that she was gonna be on the next season of Real Housewives, she made a public announcement on her IG that people should stop addressing her as Portia Williams and address her with her married name because she's a happily married woman. Who said that? Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gravadia is in the building. <laughs> So now the question on everybody's mind is what happened within the last few days that made her go from bragging about being married to divorcing him and kicking him out? Well, people believe it has something to do with them credit card and bank fraud charges that he's been slapped with by the US government. Now, for those of y'all who don't know what's going on, the popular tea page All About the Tea leaked some court documents about Simon's criminal history that shook the entire internet. Apparently, he's forcing deportation after he was caught on the charges of credit card fraud, bank fraud, identity theft, and a fake marriage to obtain a green card. According to the court documents, Simon first came to the US back in 1982 with a visitor's visa, but he overstayed the duration of the time that he was given. He then tried to get married to a US citizen and apply for adjustment status, but it was denied because the Immigration and Naturalization Service believed the marriage was a sham. So after that failed, he voluntarily left the country before he could be deported and returned again in 1996 on a six months visitor's visa. However, just the following year, he was arrested for bank fraud to which he pled guilty to all felony charges. But that ain't stop him because he was arrested for fraud again. And then just a few months after he was caught indulging in credit card fraud. Chow, you really cannot make this up. Like this man 
was not letting up. In 1992, a judge officially ordered for him to be deported back to Nigeria. He somehow managed to escape his deportation and apply for a temporary residency under a special immigration program called Special Agriculture Worker using a fake identity. He also didn't disclose to them his past criminal history, but the program eventually helped him to get his green card so he could stay in the US. And now this is where things start to get even more messy for him, because back in 2016, he decided to apply for US citizenship under the fake identity he used to get his green card. But of course, this was denied because his temporary resident status was unlawfully granted. So he tried again in 2020 and again in 2023, but those were denied for the same reasons they were denied the first time. So as you can see, Simon pretty much exposed himself. He already had his green card, which allowed him to stay in the US, but he decided to be brave by applying for US citizenship with a fake ID. And that's when they launched an investigation into him and dug out all of the criminal stuff that he's been up to. So not only is he getting charged with these felonies, but there's a very high chance that he's gonna be sent back to Nigeria in a few months. Portia, on the other hand, wants no parts of this mess at all. And that's why she decided to divorce him before things got more out of hand than they already are. This was confirmed by the popular blogger, Jesse Wu, who was friends with a whole lot of celebrities in Atlanta. She said the divorce was actually fake and this was all a part of Portia's plan to save herself. Jesse said, Portia only filed for the divorce because she wants to make sure that her assets and Simon's were separated. So her assets won't be seized with his when he's sent to court and officially charged. By filing to divorce, Simon is making sure that all of her money and assets are separate and wouldn't be seized by the feds. Portia out here making sure she is secured before that man's life goes downhill. But Simon don't plan on letting her go that easy because he went off on IG, seemingly hinting at her being a part of his fraudulent activities. He started off by saying, I will stop loving my wife when divorce is final. But the comment that really took the cake was when somebody left a comment on his post that said, if immigration finds out your sponsor, be it your wife or or other has a criminal record, it ain't gonna fly with immigration. To which Simon said, yep. Some people believe the criminal charge he's agreeing to Portia having is when she was arrested and charged for a misdemeanor in 2014. But some people also think that Portia and him were both involved and charged in the fraudulent things he was doing, and he's actually hinting at snitching on her. Now that was confirmed by Tasha Kay, who recently revealed on her show that Portia was actually fully aware of everything that Simon was doing and she didn't care because she was only concerned about all the expensive gifts that he was giving her and all the money he was putting in her bank account. According to Tasha, she and Portia used to share the same makeup artist a few months ago, and this artist spilled all the tea about all the things that Portia and Simon have been up to. Because Portia likes money. And I remember sitting with our makeup artist because at the time we shared the same makeup artist and he was saying Portia loves, and this is all she brags about, is the lifestyle. She wants the glitz. She wants the glamour. She wants the diamond. She wants to be able to brag about what she has. She doesn't give a f where it came from. She doesn't give a f where, where, where he's getting it from as long as he spends it on her. Now, let me tell you something. Let me back up a little bit. Portia had been hiding and carrying this secret because there's a lifestyle that comes with it. And that's why her and Simon are always out the country. You ever notice that? They're always in Dubai. They're always in Mexico. They're always in Nigeria. She surprises him while he's in Nigeria because he's been having these issues for years concerning his green card. Now, I don't think she knew the extent of the issues because she's a dit. Chow, it's a hot mess. And it's clear as day that this drama with Portia and Simon is nowhere near close to being over. If Simon keep running his mouth on social media, it ain't gonna be long before Portia also gets in trouble. Now, as usual, people had their own thoughts and opinions about this. Like this person who said, Portia didn't know his past financial problems. She just jumped into marrying him because she thought he was rich and divorced from Fallon, thus available to marry. She's racing to divorce now that he has no money. We're not surprised. I wonder how she'll be treated by the other housewives after all 
all this now. Another person said, she was just bragging that Mrs. Guobadaya was returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta and now she's filing for divorce. They say it has nothing to do with all the trouble going on with Simon. Sure it doesn't. She's jumping for her life off of Simon's sinking ship. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Portia filing for divorce from Simon? And do y'all think she's just trying to escape the mess that's about to come from him being charged and deported? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.